So we need something to serve, so we need something to either... Now that we know how to deal with stationary states and the Schrodinger equation, the next question is how do we actually extract the energies from it? Well, if this is our example wave function in terms of time and the magnitude of the position, the first step is to take its second derivative, right? We just gotta do our little d squared, dx squared, and here we go. Excuse me, Mr. Dodson. Yes, Jens. How exactly do you go about differentiating the absolute value of x with respect to x? It's not differentiable everywhere. Not in zero, for example. Also, the guy is called Schrödinger for the seventh time now. Schrödinger with an ö. It's, it's fine, that doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. You can't <laughs> differentiate a function which is not differentiable, okay? You're a math student, right? Yes. Okay, well there is actually one thing that you're forgetting to account for, and that's that uh, if we take the square of the probability amplitude, you are a virgin. Okay, any other questions? It's very rare that we're able to find analytic solutions to nonlinear differential equations in physics. Oftentimes we have to resort to approximating the function by dropping higher order terms in its Taylor series. And by higher order I mean after the first term. So for the harmonic approximator we take sine of theta equal to theta. Yes, Andrew? Why are we even interested in something that we can't solve analytically? That's not even close to being rigorous, Mr. Hibbert. We're not here for rigor, Andrew. We're here to approximate and apply and then repeat. Why did I sign up for this course then? Wikipedia clearly stated that chaos theory and nonlinear dynamics are branch of mathematics. Once again, you fooled me, Wikipedia, just like with probability theory. A lot of systems in physics can be expressed in terms of matrices. If I poke a system, I want to know how it responds. But you can also ask the inverse question. If I have a response, what must the source have been? So I can always hit rewind by inverting the matrix. But Mr. Andrews, linear algebra tells us that we can only really have a real multiplicative inverse for square matrices. Square matrices with a non-zero determinant. Listen, if it's in physics, it's invertible. But Mr. Andrews, that's obviously wrong. You even wrote this as a theorem on the last blackboard. Anyways, uh, let's do some examples. Let's consider a 3 by 2 matrix with real entries. We know to talk about probability in quantum mechanics, we have to specify an interval. And if we define the probability current, we can relate the two through this equation here. And in order to prove this, all you have to do is swap the integral with the derivative and go from there. It's very trivial stuff. But Mr. Medlet, you are assuming an interchange of limits right there. That's not a trivial thing in the normal case that even justified. Does the integral even exist in the first place? Again, John, this is not a math class. I don't know why you insist on acting out. But Mr. Medlet, this is really important. To me. Okay, enough is enough. See me after class and we can talk about the existence and probability of you flipping burgers for the rest of your life. So we need something to either drive or damp the system depending on x, which is the role of this function here. But instead of working with the exponential, we're going to go ahead and expand it in a Taylor series centered at zero. But Professor Chaddington, even though the function is infinitely often differentiable, I agree on that, it is not analytical. Meaning we cannot turn it into a Taylor series. Even though it's infinitely differential, what are you even saying? Listen, if you have questions about the rigor of this class, you can leave, please. I, I'm a head out. Okay, where were we?
I'm so glad that I'm out of there. I couldn't bear listening to Professor Chaddington anymore. This absolute math chat. Seriously, this guy is the peak of all unrigorousness. Andrew Chaddington. He's the enemy of all mankind. I hope I'm never going to become like him. I'm going to try and hone my math skills each and every day, be it in university or at home. And at home, I can take a piece of paper and try out stuff for myself. But I like to use external tools from time to time, be it Wikipedia, MathStack Exchange or Brilliant.org. By the way, this video has been sponsored by Brilliant.org. They really offer you a brilliant service. So Brilliant.org basically is an online learning platform. They have topics ranging from physics, mathematics over to chemistry, everything, special relativity, analytic number theory, statistics, whatsoever. They offer you such a wide variety of topics and the best thing is you can learn actively by doing exercises on this page be it doing the exercise of the community they, they even have their own community or taking a look at the wikipedia page and trying out stuff there or you can do the daily problems for example and try out a lot of different things there is it's absolutely amazing they have such a great repertoire of so many exercises and the best thing is even if you mess it up even if you don't put in the right solution two or three times you can take a look at the real solutions and maybe even by the community crafted recipes to get all the way down to the solution so it's absolutely nice if you want to try it out for free take a look into the description there will be a link brilliant.org slash maps you can use this link to get free access to brain.org and a lot of exercise and also the first 200 people who use the link get 20% of their annual subscription so that's absolutely amazing you should try it out and if you want to support this channel it's a perfect chance for you try it out and support the channel this way it's a win-win situation I guess I thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe to Andrew Dodson Andrew my boy and recommend channel if you like. Andrew Dodson did a great job. Go over to his channel. We also have a video there. Physicist in a math class. He's a physics boy. I'm the maths boy. It was absolutely fun to film all this stuff today. Thank you guys for watching. Up until the next video. Have a flamble day, smart people. See ya. Bam.